What are you reading? <laughs> I found this behind the firmament. Check it out. Yeah, okay, this is embarrassing. Uh, that's the original script, huh? Yeah. That garden scene, it's, uh, it's a doozy. All right, I said it was embarrassing. What do you want? You didn't know that the moon just reflected the light of the sun? I was a drama major. What did I know? And talking snakes and forbidden fruit and... Okay, I'd just seen Babe, so I thought talking animals would be cute. I love that duck, that Ferdinand character. And then the forbidden fruit was basically just a plot point to get us into Act Two. Oh, well, you seem like such a villain, though. Villain? Really? Well, yeah, I mean, you tempt them knowing exactly what they're going to do, and then you punish them when they do it. It wouldn't have been a punishment. I mean, if they had sinned, I just wouldn't have been able to hang out with them, you know? I, I can't kick back with sinners. You can't kick it with sinners? No. But I can? No, you can't either. You're as much the deity as I am. You're, you're, you're deity junior. So then how am I going to hang with Republicans and sinners? Republicans and... Oh, publicans. <laughs> not, not Republicans. What's the difference? Republicans are going to be the Roman tax collectors. They'll be pretty much the most vile, hated people of their time. And Republicans? Much worse. So if I can't hang with sinners, then how am I going to get into character and chill with them? Well, uh, it's a good point, actually. Continuity is a bitch, isn't it? So wait, are, are they technically even sinners now that you've gone with PZ's organic model? I mean, death isn't caused by sin now, right? That's a good point, because uh, living organisms are going to die out long before man hits the scene. So if the wages of sin isn't death, then there's no reason for my crucifixion. I mean, my character doesn't even need to lead a sinless life if there's no fall now, am I right? All right, don't get your loincloth in a bunch, Tarzan. I knew you were going to twist this thing. Well, but am I right? Yeah, technically, there's no theological necessity for it, but uh, look, that is the climax of Act Two. That scene, how do you think we got the funding for this thing, huh? That crucifixion scene sells this whole story. People love that thing. And let me tell you something, there's gonna be a return on investment in that one scene alone that will never be equaled again. But if there's no theological necessity, then- All right, Crockett, I don't remember you questioning the theological necessity of raining down hailstones on people when the Israelites were conquering Canaan. Yes, I did. Well, I don't remember you questioning the theological necessity of throwing Isaac on that altar. Yeah, I did. Actually, you did, didn't you? Yes. All right, Miami Vice, I don't remember you questioning the theological necessity of hell. I picketed the building site with the gang from Non-Human Resources. I'm the one who came up with the protest chant. Hell no, this place blows, that was yours? Yeah, I told you I thought it was unjust to torture people forever. All right, well, you knew I wasn't big on justice. You knew that from the beginning. You said that my whole sacrifice was to satisfy your own unyielding sense of justice. You said that you couldn't just forgive them. You said that you needed blood. Jesus, what do you remember everything I say? Okay, yeah, I said that, that's true, so what? You know what? I'm done. You gotta be somewhere? No, I am done with this entire thing. It is finished, I quit. Why? Are you forsaking me? Come on, so I messed up a little, all right? Forgive me, I know not what I do. Sometimes you knew that about me. Look, we'll head on over to Club Paradise. I'll commit some spirits into your hands. We'll have a drink, we'll talk this over. You gotta be a little thirsty, right? I thirst, yeah. But you will not sweet talk me again. I quit. All right, let's not get crazy here, okay? You can't quit because you have a contract. Yeah, a contract with the morals clause, and this whole thing is a violation. It's sick. And you need some serious help, sir. I need... Hey, I'm not the quitter here. You are a jealous, petty, unjust, unforgiving, vindictive, megalomaniacal bully. And? And capricious, and malevolent, and... All right, so you can memorize a character breakdown. Big whoop, I don't know what you're getting all upset about. I am washing my hands of this entire thing. I'm out of here, I quit. And you know, Larry was right. You are one sick puppy. <laughs> Okay, fine. You know what? That's the way you want to play this? Play up! Now you're going to find out how petty and vindictive I can be, okay? Because I'm going to see you in court, bub. You're going to get this trial one way or the other. Oh, oh, oh! And don't be surprised if the judge is a Roman! everyone thanks again for watching that's it for season three and that's going to be a really long cliffhanger because like other directors who've exhausted their material and storyline i've decided to do a prequel that's right in season four of mr deity 
I'll be toying with the treasured cosmography and characters you've come to know and love in order to tell an entirely pointless and unnecessary tale about Mr. Deity's beginnings. I have, however, learned from the mistakes of others, and I will promise you the following. Number one, the Mr. Deity prequel will not be utter crap. Number two, I will not become obsessed with technology to the extent that I completely forget about story and dialogue. Number four, there will be no CGI characters which make you feel compelled to do harm to yourself or others. Number five, there will be no unintentionally hilarious fight scenes between a human and any character who formerly appeared as a puppet. Five, at no time will any of the deity characters do the following. No! And finally, number six, I can promise you that in the Mr. Deity prequel, there will be absolutely no Liam Neeson. Now the other exciting news is that we'll be taking a month off that's not the exciting part. We'll be taking that month off to prep the DVD of season three, which will include the following. All 21 episodes from season three, commentaries for each episode, gag reels, all the Larry Deity interviews, including 10 new never before seen questions and the Larry Deity trailer. The first six episodes of Words, a behind the scenes look at the making of Mr. Deity, and if space and skill permit, we'll be including the Mr. Deity ringtones and digital copies of each episode for your mobile media player or computer. Of course, during the next month, we'll need your help even more, so if you can afford to, head on over to MrDeity.com and click the donate button to either donate or subscribe to the show. And while you're there, hey, why not pre-order that DVD, right? Nothing could be easier. So there you have it. Um, if you've subscribed or donated or contributed in some way to the show to keep it going this season, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough. We'll see you again in four to five weeks. Mm -hmm.